Hey guys, it's your boy, Brad Brad here, bringing you another awesome video! Hey guys, it's your boy, Brad Brad here, bringing you another awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! Go format replay. This time we got a replay on our awesome Earth Aggro deck, my take on it. So without further ado, guys, let's get into the replay. We're playing against Rage, and uh, he's playing a zombie deck by the looks of it. And um, uh, yeah, so let's start it off here. It's going to be a great little charity. Cool. And uh, he's going to be a Delinquent Duel. Lovely. Love when that happens. There goes my Cold Wave. <laughs> oh, well. We'll get rid of my Earth Monster because I got a knock. YOLO. So we draw a Pot of Greed. Can't get any better than that. Get rid of the, uh, what do you call it? Spies. Perfect. He's on main deck decree. Love to see it. So, we're just going to bring out a Gantus, get some damage in. Easy peasy, right? Set our mirror force, see what happens. He's going to minus one himself. Fine by me. Alright, cool. Whatever. We'll get rid of that piece of shit. Alright, cool. And yeah, continue on. Okay, let's just hit in 1700, baby. Oh, yeah. Take that. Alright, so he's going to set a card. I'm going to get rid of that. Oh, more decree. Wow, that's great. And he's going to bring that out, and I don't attack into it, because I don't remember how this works with his effect. If uh, he would banish from him, I don't really know. I'll be honest, I can't remember. So, it doesn't really matter. So he's going to do that. Apparently he doesn't have Zombie Master's deck. I'm surprised, to be honest. Um, so yeah, apparently he doesn't have Zombie Master's. He's going to bring out um, Regenerating Mummy, which uh, I don't know about that card myself. But, you know, some people like it, some people don't. So we'll bring out my other Assailant. And I honestly have no idea how it works, so I'm like, fuck, I'll just set it and see what happens. And of course it didn't work, so what are you going to do? But it doesn't matter in the end. We're going to get some, we're going to get our premature burial here. Bring back our, our man. We'll kill that guy, and then we'll hit in. All we need is one more hit, and he's dead. So he gets a decree, and we got no more monster. GG. Went over pretty well there. Now, of course, our opponent was going minus one most of the game with those um, Tribute to the Mummy or whatever that card is called. card is horrible. I don't know why people play it for. You better not play in Smashing Ground. But anyways, I mean, it depends on the deck, but most, I don't know. I feel like for a zombie deck, it's not good. I'll just be honest. So, next, we're going to the game two here now. And we'll show you how this deck really shines here. It does pretty well, I must say. So we're going to start off good again. We're going to have our uh, duel. And we're going to start off by breaking that back row. Just an MST. I figured it would be that or, or row decrease. That's why I wanted to get rid of it so my compulse is live. So we'll just set compulse. Now she's live. And then we'll just bounce one of his spies back to hand. All right. And then he'll go minus one again. Fine by me. And then we're going to a pretty good position here, oddly enough, because we're going to set wrap, which is great. And he'll go with the graveyard. I'm thinking what I want to get. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to get another rat because then I can get Exile Force, get rid of Koki, and then I can, uh, then I'll have a target for Gigantis. And now I, and I, I have two targets. I have both my Gigantis are alive. I'm only going to do one because we can't get over the spy yet. No big deal. Can't get over the spy. I will just take, make him do 300 damage. Oh, there we go. We got an answer to the spy. And I know he's playing main like Grease. So I'm like, I'm not afraid. We'll just hit in, go aggro on him. Right? And uh, i got to remember to put him in defense. We'll put him in defense. He'll take it out. All right, cool, whatever. I don't care. And we still can't game him yet, so we're just going to take it slow, right? So we're going to do 100 damage here with our Gigantus, 1,700 with that. He won't take the 100 for the Gigantus for some reason. It can matter, guys. Just saying. So then we're going to do that, and this is the end of the game, because we're going to banish for the second Gigantus and bring up my normal, my Swordsman. And that's just enough GG. That's why you don't run Maniac Decree. And, um, yeah, he got, he got destroyed. Well, I didn't get destroyed. I won the game. You know, just put it that way, right? So we did pretty good with the deck. Yeah, the Gigantus always works well. That's why I run. I've run at three myself. Like I said, the deck profile. You want to run this card at three, in my opinion. You got so many Earths in here. XL4 is always going to the graveyard, and most of them are probably going to the graveyard. And especially your rat. Your rat's more likely going to the graveyard. So like Gigantus is pretty much live all the time. And uh, yeah, it's just a good card. Having that three special summon is just insane, right? And you can just went on nowhere with it, right? It's pretty cool. So yeah, that's the deck there, though, guys. Pretty simple game. And as you can tell, it's a good deck. So if you like it, like I said, be sure to check out the deck profile. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out, boys.